The Steelers have good business practices. Now, why is that relevant to the Brian Flores situation? Well, here's the thing. They cannot fire Terrell Austin because Terrell Austin simply did nothing to deserve being fired. So, of course, they're not going to fire him just to promote Brian Flores. Even Brian Flores knows that. And again, Flores is a great coach, but this isn't the end all be all. I see a lot of people saying, oh, just fire Terrell Austin. No, 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 no. That's not the way that's going to operate because, again, Mike Tomlin, the Steelers, they are very classy. They are a grade A organization and they don't do just cheap moves like that. It's very, very cheap for you to say, hey, you know, great job this year. You're fired. It's ridiculous. That's not ethical by any stretch of the imagination. But let's just be real with ourselves. None of this really matters because the team operates on TJ Watt. All the coaches are fantastic, great, but at the end of the day, the record shows, numbers don't lie, that when the Steelers don't have TJ Watt, they're gonna lose. If they do have TJ Watt, pretty damn good shot that they're gonna win the game. And we all have to ask ourselves, is Brian Flores really impacting that number? Probably not. And Terrell Austin did a great job. So there's really nothing to stress about when it comes to Brian Flores leaving. Now, of course, the Steelers are probably drafting an inside linebacker in the first 30 rounds. So it would be nice to have Brian Flores stay. But it's extra goodies. Again, not the end all be all. What the Steelers really need is an offensive coordinator, not named Matt Canada. And if Matt Canada stays, listen, I'm going to give him a fair shot next year if he stays with that being said his whole tenure with the Steelers wasn't really that good and even if you look at his best stretch this latest stretch it's not like perfect where you see the Atlanta game you see the Raiders game where you score 13 points you see the Ravens game you score 16 points it's not like you're putting up an insane amount of points even during his best stretch so the Steelers don't need to be worried about Brian Flores leaving we all knew that was going to happen at some point the main focus right now is the offensive coordinator spot but let me know what you guys think about the Brian Flores situation and the situation with the offensive coordinator spot should Matt Canada stay or should the Steelers fire him? Again, let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. And that is it from me on this one. Peace.